Did you know? I've found three ways to sneak into the locked down, heavily fortified Shamult Community College Nero site. Best of all, once you make it, there's a juicy horde waiting to be put down. So gear up with a gnarly loadout and let's bring it. All right, impatient warrior. Just like any horde, it's best to be well armed. At 125 Freakers, it's still a step up from the ones in Cascade, but with a modest loadout, can be cleared pretty easy. Unfortunately, before we get to them, let's have a look at what the biggest problem is. Oh yeah, this place is fortified. Every pathway into it is completely blocked off. That's the problem with highly infectious diseases. Sometimes efforts to keep the bad stuff out ends up trapping the people you want to keep safe. This place is inaccessible until quite a ways into the story, but I'm not gonna let a minor point like story progression stop me from getting to this horde. No way! I did a little prep before getting here, and I'm taking them on with a special loadout that I pilfered at the start of the game from Iron Butte, right from Cascade. To see how that happened, video link in the description. And after also getting the SMP9 early, we're more than ready to take them on. So here we go, here's bike method number one. Moving away from the sign, we're gonna just ride up until we get past this cluster of trees up against this rock face. And the god rays are showing us the path. <laughs> And we just use Deke's legs of steel to power our way up that rock. And as we approach the top at that boulder, we hang a left and arrive at our destination at the Shamult Community College grounds. Not too shabby for a few seconds of effort, am I right? Let's help get the Days Gone community in on this by giving this video a like and not being shy to share this with anyone who you might think will have some fun with this, yeah? Okay, let's move on to bike method number two. Now, to be honest, this really isn't my preferred way, especially finding out bike method number one. But, in case you're up for a little bit of a challenge and that way is just too easy for you, well, here's another spot where you can access the grounds and it looks simpler in one sense because the rock face or the ledge doesn't seem to be too high off the ground. But I'm telling you, it's very persnickety in the way you get up here. Because unless you've got a master's degree in maneuverability on this kind of bike, you know what I mean, if you can handle the controls better than most, definitely better than me, you're just gonna end up with a frustrating time landing on your back more often and getting crushed by the bike. Way too much to make it even worthwhile. but. It's there, so if you're up for a challenge, you want to test your bike skills, by all means. And finally, we're going to check out bike method number three. From the starting position that I'm showing you, the entryway is on the complete other side of the facility. Another nest zone. I gotta burn this shit down and make it safer. I'd say your best bet is to use this entrance if you're approaching the Shamult Community College from the east side of the map. Bike method number one is coming from the west side that I showed you, and then this bike method number three here, best approached when you're coming from the east side of the map. I'll be back later. Finish burning you out. Obviously the gate in front of us is not going to be the obstacle we need to worry about. And just a quick look at the map. If you approach from the north, from that side, this entryway is your best bet. Okay, let's take a look where we're going. There's our target. This little groove in the rocks. Engage those legs of steel and you are up and over in a flash. Very nice. And there you go, another access point to the Shamult Community College grounds and the horde that comes with it, available any time between the start of the game right up until the point that the mission happens. Let's take care of this horde now. And I'm going to be dealing with them by 
gaining access using bike method number one. Up those rocks. Quick hard left turn at that boulder at the top. And you're up and over. Knowing there's an infestation zone down there, I'm not inclined to take that out at this moment. I could, but the point of this one is to just get in here and take care of the horde, which until way later in game is not even possible. However, now it is possible, right from the start of the game. Unlike other hordes in the game that have a specific watering hole or feeding ground, this horde is pretty much isolated and confined to the Shamult Community College grounds because as we've seen, it's completely barricaded by fences. So there is no particular need to roam very far in order to catch up with these guys. You will find them here. And I'm not particularly good with a sidearm as some other creators have used in order to get the horde's attention, so I just figure, you know what, I think if I drive by, they'll notice and give chase, which they always do. Now I am just going to lead them to an easy kill area I've used before, which is convenient and simple to ride the bike up to, park it, and just head over to a spot where we can take the horde out pretty safely. It's not untouchable because if they congregate too much, you can see right there, they start bouncing high in the air and one or two of them could actually end up landing on the same rock area that you're standing on and swipe you down. Another great aspect to this location is the fact that as you move around the rock, the horde will follow you. Aren't they so courteous? It's definitely a benefit because at some point, if you've killed a bunch of them in one area, the rest of the horde kind of runs underneath the pile of bodies and they tend to get a little difficult to get at. So moving them around gives the added benefit of being able to target the last of them a little bit easier. And there we go, done. Only used one weapon. How about that? The MG45, gotta love it. It's a little clunkier than some other weapons that you'll be able to purchase later on in the game for more accuracy, but for these sized hordes, it's more than capable to do the job. I didn't even bother using the other two weapons I was carrying. And now that you have access with the bike method shown, the Shamult Community Horde is available for conquest anytime. Nothing can stop you now. I appreciate you so much for taking time out of your day and stopping by to watch this. Hope you take the opportunity to try this out in your own gameplay. And be sure to subscribe to the channel and check out more Days Gone content. Be good to yourself and those you meet out there.